people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another FNAF video, and welcome to the third installment of the Endoskeletons of FNAF series. If you missed the first two episodes and you're not sure what's going on, well basically the premise is pretty simple. This series is all about taking a deep dive into one of the most underappreciated aspects of the FNAF characters in my opinion, and that is their endoskeletons beneath their suits. The past two videos with the help of the 3D games FNAF AR Special Delivery and FNAF VR Help Wanted, we were able to take apart some of the characters and really appreciate all the details of the endoskeletons that you don't usually see in normal playthroughs. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing in today's video, continuing the saga, taking a look at some endoskeletons specifically from the new game Security Breach. So if you're excited and maybe you want a fourth video in this series once Ruin comes out or maybe we could take a look at some of the older games, don't forget to scroll down, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. And now before we hop back into the wonderful world of FNAF's endoskeletons, let me first introduce you to today's incredible sponsor of HelloFresh. HelloFresh offers the convenience of creating restaurant quality meals with its delivery of fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and instructions straight to your doorstep. From calorie smart or carb smart, HelloFresh offers a variety of delicious and healthy meals to choose from and customize. And with its quick and easy recipes, you can still make a flavorful meal in less than 30 minutes. Sourcing its ingredients from a farm to your very own doorstep in less than a week, HelloFresh ensures you'll always receive high quality and fresh produce, providing you with even more nutrients. And if you're like me and just love snacking, well, HelloFresh still has you covered. With a wider range of snacks, side dishes, and desserts at the HelloFresh market, all it takes is adding your snacks to your weekly order and they'll arrive at your house alongside the rest of your meal. My household has been using HelloFresh for no joke the longest time, so it's kind of crazy that they sponsored this video. So if you want to be like me and sign up for America's number one meal kit, you can use the link in the description or the pinned comment to sign up. HelloFresh is cheaper than the grocery store and also takeout. So no matter what, it's a win-win scenario. Why wouldn't you want to at least give it a shot? So don't forget to scroll down, use the description or pinned comment. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Now let's kick this video off by taking a look at our only help wanted endoskeleton for today's video. And that is none other than Chica the Chicken. Specifically how Chica appears in her repair parts and service minigame. As you can see, not much to take a look at. If you've seen the FNAF 1 based endoskeleton, it's basically just that with some yellow legs. Interestingly enough, the bits on Chica's suit that turn orange about halfway down to her feet, looks like they stay yellow on the endoskeleton model itself. And now before we get to Security Breach, we do have a few more models to show off from FNAF AR Special Delivery. Kicking it off with our main man himself, Freddy Fazbear. Freddy's model, as you can see, is almost entirely intact. It's just missing a bit of his torso and chest area. But other than that, you may notice that the endoskeletons for FNAF AR are all very simple. Not too much detail goes on to them, most likely because this is a smaller game meant for phones. And that tradition carries through with our next model, which is Bonnie the bunny, who's also missing a bit of his torso, though luckily he looks a bit happier in this pose. So let's hope he's not too beat up over it, but once again you can see just how simple the endoskeletons for the FNAF AR characters are. And of course because Bonnie is a bunny, a bit of his endoskeleton on his head goes up to support his ears. And if you want to talk about FNAF AR models that get really simple, let me introduce you to Toy Freddy. If you saw the last couple of videos, you'll know that the toys are notorious for having very, very simple endoskeletons. And Toy Freddy in FNAF AR, as you can see, is no doubt different. It's just a couple cylinders with his eyes attached. And actually moving on to quite the opposite, a FNAF AR model that has a lot of detail on its endoskeleton. Let's now move on to Funtime Freddy. The newest and latest character being added to FNAF AR that came out well over a year ago. So how new is he? But technically we got two endoskeletons to take a look at because his hand puppet Bon Bon also comes with an endo. Funtime Freddy's endo in FNAF AR is actually very very similar to his traditional endoskeleton we see in Sister Location which makes sense. It is the same character. Character. And there is actually a second version of Funtime Freddy's endoskeleton where it takes off the outer features of the endoskeleton so you can see truly what goes on beneath the wires. And just for a comparison between the two versions, here are the two variations of the endo side by side. You can see just a few more outer shells on the face plates as well as the top hat, which is, I guess, technically part of his endo. And while we're talking about Funtime Freddy, let's get a closer up shot of his buddy, Bon Bon. Like usual, not much going on with this endoskeleton, though it is funny to point out the bits of the endo that are just kind of floating 
floating in space. That's obviously to connect the parts of the suit itself, but it still looks pretty funny. Now, next up is a character you might be confused by because it's Lefty from FNAF AR. Now, Lefty was teased in a whole bunch of promotional material for FNAF AR, and he does, in fact, have a model in the game's files. But as of the release of this video, there's no sign of him officially releasing as a character, which is quite sad considering, like I said, his model is in the files. But anyway, this is what Lefty looks like, his suit and endo skeleton side by side. The endo is very thin, which I thought was pretty amusing. This is also our first and only FNAF 6 character, at least I think so. It's definitely our first and only Rockstar character. In FNAF AR, so it is very interesting to see what they would look like. Something that stuck out to me immediately was just how similar their endoskeletons look like to a real skeleton. I mean, especially that skull. And now lastly, for FNAF AR, we do have a few skins to look at, so let's wrap this up. Should go by pretty quick, considering they all look like this. As you can see, this is Livewire Toy Freddy, the alternate version of VR Toy Freddy from the Arcade Mayhem event. You're gonna notice a theme with these upcoming skins. Cylinders and balls. Because even my homeboy system error toy Bonnie is also just a couple cylinders and some spheres floating in space. Though interestingly enough, it does look like he has a bit of a neck area going on here with this endoskeleton. What's happening there? That looks interesting. <laughs> Lastly, for the Arcane Mayhem event, doesn't look like 8-Bit Baby has an endo, which makes sense. She is a 2D character, but lastly, we have Game Over Toy Chica. And just like Livewire Toy Freddy, this is the alternate version of High Score Toy Chica. And wouldn't you believe it? Couple cylinders, couple spheres floating in space. About what I was expecting with our final Arcade Mayhem Endo. The last character for FNAF AR Special Delivery is Great Escape Golden Freddy, whose Endo looks like this. He is missing the entirety of his upper body as well as his arms, which is just kinda suck, man. I mean, especially if you're chained down to the ground like that. Though I will say I love the texture this guy's got going on. It looks very, very cool. And we do have a few other versions of Great Escape Golden Freddy, one where he has glowing eyes, or I guess I should say glowing eye, but then the next one he does have smaller glowing eyes. And now let's move on to the game everyone's been waiting for, Security Breach. And of course, we gotta start off with my main man, Glamrock Freddy. This is what he looks like. And kinda as you'd expect, very simple endoskeleton. Not much going on in the legs and arms, just a couple cylinders to connect the suits. This is Showtime overall basic base model Freddy, but if you want to take a closer look at his endoskeleton, switching over to his parts and service model might be a bit easier. Now this is where we can truly appreciate what's going on beneath these guys' suits. As you can see, a very detailed chest area, most likely because Freddy's actually able to open up his stomach so he can climb inside. So that makes a whole lot of sense. Some very detailed hands as well as two orange shoulder pads, which I find hilarious. Now, Freddy probably has the most detailed endoskeleton out of the main four Glamrock animatronics, but just to show you what I mean, let's now move on to Glamrock Chica, who, yeah, as you can see, is very simple. Missing the entirety of her body, just a couple spheres floating in space. Her head is kind of the only thing that remains intact fully. It seems like with the Glamrock animatronic steel wool only modeled the endoskeletons in places they absolutely necessarily had to, like the joints of the suits, because these are the areas that get exposed the most during traditional play. So if we move on now to Shattered Chica, you can see, all right, the endoskeleton gets a bit more detailed, most likely because she's all busted up, with her suit being notably chipped away in certain places, so a bit more of her endoskeleton is obviously going to be shown off. Though once again, besides that, it seems like the joints are, again, the only bits of the endoskeleton they really felt like modeling. Moving on now to Montgomery the Gator, this might be one of my favorites just because of the belt floating in space. But yeah, hopefully by now you've picked up on the pattern going on here with the glam rocks not much going on just a couple of joints moving on now to shattered monty who's a pretty important character here because well he's missing his freaking legs because of this he's resorted to just crawling around with his torso with both hands one arm and a big chunk of his face being exposed to show off that fantastic endoskeleton next to glam rock freddy's base model this is probably one of the more detailed versions of the glam rock endoskeletons especially the hands on this guy i mean i do not want to get in a fist fight with monty and even though shattered monty is missing his legs, that doesn't mean we can't take a look at them, because here is the model and endoskeleton model for Shattered Monty's legs. As you can see, one foot is entirely exposed while the other is not, so you get a bit of a difference there with the detail on each foot, but besides that, again, pretty traditional looking endoskeleton with the Shattered animatronics. Just a few details here and there because the suit is so busted up. And now moving on to Roxanne, who is the final of the four main Glamrock animatronics, and finally not much going on in the endos department. Once again, and just a bunch
bunch of floating spheres in space, another floating belt, and a bunch of floating earrings. Though Shattered Roxanne is where it gets very interesting because she's all sorts of busted up. Her face is entirely exposed, giving us a very detailed look at that shattered endoskeleton with no eyes, which is terrifying. Her suit's so busted up, we get a detailed look at her arms and legs and body. I mean, at this point, I'm just starting to feel bad. Though what's super cool is later on in Roxanne's boss fight, you enter a room that's filled with a whole bunch of flames and fire, and Roxanne's model actually changes in that area. And if you didn't know, this is what it looks like. It gets all heated up. And honestly, probably so does Roxanne herself as she continues to chase you and well, luckily we escape, but still. It's a subtle change and probably one you don't notice very often in-game, especially because it's such a quick scene, you're probably not looking at Roxanne a whole lot during that sequence, but it does make for a very cool change for the model and especially that endoskeleton. Now finally, for Glamrock animatronics, we got the traditional Glamrock endo we meet about halfway through the game in the basement, and these guys play almost identical to the endos in the Jura of Creation story mode, where they have a fallen angel type mechanic where if you look at them, they freeze, but if you turn away, they start moving towards you. Now, something you may notice is that this endo on the right side looks a bit frozen, and you may be wondering, what's up with him? Well, this is actually an unused version of the endoskeletons, not entirely sure where they were going to appear in the game, though parts of them do make a brief appearance earlier on in the game inside of a box, though it's still just a super cool model, and I wanted to show it off. Now, next up, we got the fan favorite daycare attendant, and you may notice something pretty amusing about this guy. Like usual, just a whole bunch of floating spheres in space, he does have have a ribbon with some bells on which do stay intact with the endo but something i immediately noticed was the giant metal plate he uses for a face with his endoskeleton which is probably something you don't think about when you see him in game where he's wearing his full suit but underneath he has a pretty amusing just flat metal plate inside his face to use as the endoskeleton skull which again i just find absolutely hilarious moving on now to the wind up music man's or as some people call him the teeny music man his legs are very skinny so not much endoskeleton going on there besides the joints, the hands are very detailed, the body as well. Though my favorite aspect of this endoskeleton is obviously the gears inside of his mouth. It's another small detail of these characters that I don't think many people catch right off the bat, but it's still just a super cool design detail for this character that I think adds to him just a whole bunch more. And now moving on from one music man to another, we of course have DJ Music Man. Now unfortunately, the only details he has on the endoskeleton is basically just his legs, which you can see in full during normal play, so He's kind of a letdown in that aspect, but his face is, once again, absolutely hilarious. Something about seeing his face off his head is just freaking hilarious to me. I don't know why, maybe it's because he's now missing his giant nose. Moving on now to one of the staff bots, specifically the one we encounter outside of Freddy Fazbear's pizza place underneath the Mega Pizza Plex. These guys are pretty interesting, very simple endoskeleton designs. As we're used to by now, a bunch of his endoskeleton is just a whole bunch of joints. Though we can see a box, I guess, inside of his lower body, as well as the part that connects his wheels. And now we move on to our second to last character of the day, which is the Blob. Now, you'd think the Blob has a pretty similar endoskeleton to Funtime Freddy because he has Funtime Freddy's mask on. That's actually not all it boils down to, because as you can see, it does share a few similar aspects to the Glamrock endoskeleton, so it kind of combines both the Funtime and Glamrock endos, which I guess is pretty poetic for a character like the Blob that connects a whole bunch of other various characters. And speaking of characters, let's take a look at their endoskeletons too, starting off with Mangle. Well, these guys all feature very basic endoskeletons, as you can see, Mangle, of course, has an endo that looks very strikingly similar to the Endo 02, which is kind of the traditional endoskeleton all the FNAF 2 characters use. Just like how Bonnie from FNAF 1 uses the FNAF 1 Endo 01 endoskeleton in the blob. You can notice the smaller head and jaw compared to the Endo 02 from Mangle. Interestingly enough, Baby's endoskeleton looks nothing like the endo used for all the fun time characters. The endo for Baby here is very simple, only being used to connect the eyes and the mouth. And Chica's endoskeleton is in a very weird pose, but let's ignore that. Obviously looks very identical to, again, Endo 01. And now I move on to the final character for today's video, and that is, of course, Burn Trap. Now, Burn Trap is already exposed in a whole bunch of areas, so his endoskeleton might be a bit of a letdown, but we can see now in great detail all the flesh on his skull, as well as what's left of his chest. It's an absolutely terrifying and gruesome sight. His ears are made up of just a few basic metal bars. He does have a very detailed endo skeleton especially with those big meaty claws and yeah once again just an absolutely 
terrifying endoskeleton. And that's actually going to do it for this third installment of the endoskeletons of FNAF. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Huge shout out to everyone that made the renders used in this video. They're all going to be linked down below. And I want to give a massive shout out to specifically OP who helped out with a whole bunch of the security breach renders. And lastly, yet another huge shout out to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. If you want to go check out HelloFresh, don't forget to check the pinned comment or description to use my code. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.